Hello everyone, this is Simric, creator of the Star Wars The Old Republic Combat Parser. Basically, I just wanted to make a little video so that everyone could see the combat parser in action so that you didn't actually have to download it. When you um, join a room, when you join a hub group on the um, Star Wars The Old Republic Combat Parser, um, then you can see um, then you can see all of the combat that they are doing and they can see all the combat that you're doing um, save certain statistics like your own abilities are always your own abilities and, and they will you know be respective to whoever's running the client application now that said um, anyone that's not running the client um, will not show up so that's one caveat is that everyone has to have it that you want to see um, because as most people know or as um, um, you'll see uh, as my friend and I are uh, parsing our data and, and it's displaying on the graph um, I'm a sorcerer so I show up as light blue he's an assassin he shows up as yellow um, the color scheme is kind of similar to that uh, the color scheme is similar to that of recount um, so a sorcerer um, will show up like a mage, uh, an assassin will show up like a rogue. That's just really to ease the transition a bit. As you may or may not know, the, um, the combat logging is only logging for you. And that was one of the challenges in developing this is when you're only logging for one person, um, you, you basically have to marry all that information. And not only do you have to marry that information and line up timelines, line up um, damage calculations per second, things like that among everyone that's in the room, but you also have to deal with the communication of all those clients and deal with it in such a way that it's it's user friendly and that you're actually getting that information in a timely manner where you can actually do something with it. There are some issues currently with um, Windows 8. If you're using the consumer profile, um, there are issues with some applications on Windows 7 64-bit. Um, and there were some issues with uh, the .NET framework not being up to date. Um, so I'm trying to pinpoint those, but it's possible that you, uh, you may have some issues if you don't have the latest Windows updates. 